How's it going, folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We are looking today at the Samsung T5 portable SSD, the follow-up to the venerable T3. Check it out. The big news this time around with the T5 is that it supports USB 3.1 Gen 2, which results in faster transfer speeds when compared to the last gen model. Now, Samsung's T-Series line of SSDs has been extremely popular over the years, and one of the unit's standout features is that it's just very, very small. You get a lot of storage in a very compact form factor. And the trend continues with the latest T5 model. Inside the box, you'll see an instruction manual, and you'll also notice two USB cables inside, a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB-A cable. So here is the Samsung T5. You can see a brand new color this time around. Samsung calls this alluring blue, and you get it in an aluminum unibody build. There's also a black version. That version only comes in the one terabyte or two terabyte models. If you opt for the smaller 250 gigabytes or 500 gigabyte model, you get alluring blue. And as I mentioned at the outset, the trend continues as far as form factor is concerned. In fact, this is basically the same exact form factor as the T3. Actually, this is just a hair smaller than the T3. Very, very compact. You saw it compared to my AirPods there. So you get a USB-C to USB-C cable in the box. So I've connected this to my 5K iMac, the mid-2017 version with Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports. And as mentioned, this supports USB 3.1 Gen 2. You can see that 10 gigabits per second maximum speed there. And when connected to machines that support the USB attached SCSI protocol, you will get faster throughput up to 540 megabytes per second. Now, what if you connect to a port that doesn't support USB 3.1 Gen 2? Well, I can use the included USB-C to USB-A cable to test that out. So let's go ahead and connect it. You can see, it's connected to the USB 3.0 bus, portable SSD T5 at five gigabits per second. So let's go ahead and test it out. You're gonna note that the read speeds fall well short of the 540 megabytes per second, which no coincidence is around the maximum throughput for the previous generation model. So ladies and gentlemen, the entry level 250 gigabyte model starts around 130 bucks, but it quickly rises in price as you get higher up the ladder. The two terabyte version will set you back about $800. That said, I think the 250 and 500 gigabyte models are pretty good buys and they come in that new alluring blue color. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that the T5 does a good job of living up to its predecessor. Not only does it look better, but it's faster. Be sure to head over to 9to5Mac and read the full post for all the details. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.